from that time. Now one minute and 35 seconds and counting. We'll get the ignition of the Atlas vehicle at about four seconds and expected liftoff at zero of the 95 minute mark in the simultaneous count. Now T minus 20 seconds and counting. T minus 18 holding momentarily, now resuming the count. T minus 15, T minus 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. We have ignition. There's ignition, and the Atlas rocket towers its path with a bright burst of flame. It's airborne now, and it's rising into the sky, a beautiful liftoff. It's a smooth flight. Everything is going uh, as it should be. You can now hear the thunder as it sweeps across our NBC observation point. Typical Sunday with alligators out there are pretty much shaking, I would say. It's a smooth flight. She looks good. over at this moment in its flight path. It is beginning to point the Agena target rocket toward the rendezvous orbit. Its flight is smooth. It's continuing to climb into this clear Florida sky. It's a deep blue sky today. There's only a very few clouds to block our view. Mark, mode one, Charlie. Charlie. Just a tiny pin light of a fire now as the Atlas continues its flight into orbit. It was a smooth liftoff. And at this time, the rocket is beginning to create its own clouds as it enters cold air high above uh, the Atlantic Ocean. Its thrust is uh, being turned into small ice particles, actually, as it cools itself at this altitude. This is known as condensation, uh, and I'm sure a lot of you have seen these condensation trails before by high-flying jet aircraft. Everything is going according to plan. The Atlas Agena is well out over the Atlantic Ocean at this moment, with all going smoothly during the first half of this flight. The Agena target is on course, oh, on a course of 83 degrees, almost due east, and the Atlas good. booster and engines uh, have just about burned out all of their fuel at this time. In just a moment, the, the two booster engines on top of the Atlas will actually the burn out today. and drop away, and the third stage will report. keep firing and moving along. Mark Biko, Mark. Mark, Mark Biko. Biko. Biko the did occur engines. on the program time at 2 minutes 11 seconds. Boss, you're listening to it. Seattle is now man. about 50 miles away from the Cape. Altitude about 40 miles. You're listening to the voice of Paul Haney from Mission Control in Houston. Describing the flight. Our next major event comes at four minutes and 37 seconds into the flight when a sequence timer is to be tripped. We have lost our view of the Atlas Agena rocket from this vantage point. Now back down to Russ Ward. We're 100 miles downrange. Right, Jay. And He's almost 100 miles downrange now. That was late report. And the three minute mark into the flight. Three minute mark into the flight. So we're moving along smoothly now. That was uh, the first of two launchings today. The Atlas Agena now moving along. And we uh, recall that morning of October 25th when we thought we had a perfect liftoff. Everything looked good, only to be disappointed Three about minutes, five minutes into the flight. So we'll flight. hold our breath on this one. We'll see what happens. Good. Let's Earlier, go to Paul Haney. The first minute or two, it was somewhat low. A percentage point or two, but now it's uh, following the program value very carefully. We're 175 miles downrange, 80 miles high, and both the Gina and Flight Dynamics advise the flight director that they are go. So it's looking good right now. We can still see on our TV monitor the camera picture, the cameras. Uh, at the tracking stations just south of here, still following that tiny speck of light. Four minutes into the flight. Four minutes. Four minutes into and the flight. And a very smooth ride to this point. Hey, can we hold it? 
On the last trip, we had a backfire that um, blew the Agena up in space. So we'll hold our breath here for the next couple of minutes to see uh, that we do achieve the desired Four orbit on this one. 23 seconds into the flight. We're 275 miles downrange. Our altitude, 100 miles. We, um, and perhaps you did too, heard a couple of bursts a short time. Uh, Mark Fico, the Agena advises. That would be at 4 minutes 39, 4 minutes 40 seconds. Seco sustainer hash up now. Sustainer engine cut off. We're waiting word on whether the Agena achieved orbit. If it did not achieve orbit, that means the Gemini will not go this morning, so we're waiting. And the Agena controller now advises we have Vico or the Vernier engines, the steering engines also have shut down. As yet he has not confirmed separation. This is a critical point here, uh, Russ. Coming up in just about 35 seconds will be ignition of the Agena. Now, Agena controller confirms we do have separation. That confirmation came at 5 minutes and 35 seconds into the flight. It was this point right here. Ignition. Last coming up in about 20 seconds. At 5.53, 5 minutes 53 seconds, we should have SPS 16-pound thrusters lighting off. And about 20 seconds later, the primary propulsion system coming up on six minutes, six minutes into the flight. And we do have SPS start. This is the critical point. It is starting. Six minutes, 10 seconds. This means the Agena rocket is burning now and is pushing its own self into orbit. And we have primary propulsion system has ignited. It is operating. Well, here we go. We pass now the critical point that destroyed the mission. Uh, and and Agena says here. it looks good. We have about three minutes of flight here. That, it was uh, at the, that point when the primary propulsion system cuts in on the Agena that we lost the, the bird on October 25th. 